Hi, welcome to Track Hobbits. There's a couple of things you'll get from this, a silver brick and the mithril fishing pole and studs times four, the red brick for handing the quest in. So start off by shooting those with Legolas, then come back here to dig with Sam and that will give you the first treasure, which is an Uruk shield. And I got this on a previous run, so I didn't get the treasure awarded, but there it is lying in the ground and you tap B to pick it up. Anyway, continue with the mission, build those Lego bricks, turn into Gimli, run to the top, smash uh, that block, and this will pop out, which allows Aragorn to track where Pippi and Merrin went. So follow the little green trails, and there's nothing more to get until you finish tracking, so just continue to progress this. Build that, you don't have to smash that with Legolas, just flip to Sam and use his rope, it's a little bit quicker. Although really the slow bit in this is crawling around on your hands and knees at the end of a trail. Yeah, anyway. There we go. You'll pass through here, and this will take us to the next section where there's a couple of mini kits. The first of which, there, if you use your Explody Orc um, or Mithril Fireworks on that, there's mini kit number one. It was like a little Mithril Lego block with a flag in it. Uh, then there's Gandalf bricks to do, so you need to dig all four out with Sam and then smash the purple holder on the back. You don't need to build them to match the uh, diagram, but you do need to build them so that they actually hold together. You can just jump up here and be quite cheeky like that. I get on the rope and then sneak up to get that and grab the purple coin for 10,000. Yummy! Then that was what mini kit number two. Then you've got three targets up here, so you want to shoot all of them and you can multi target them um, by just sweeping the cursor across all of them, and that will drop a mini kit to build, and that's mini kit number three. And then uh, just progress the story again, so do the tracking thing. Uh, make sure you've got three mini kits and one uh, treasure. That's what you should have at this point before you go on. Then you are in this little section here, and you're off to find the tree ants. So first of all, pick up Gimli and chuck him up there for mini kit number four. There you go. And then carry on the mission until you get to a little uh, hole just after this rubble where you can, well, it's not really rubble, rocks, where you can pull with the orange handle. So go ahead and do that, there we go, and go in there, which will be a little room where you've got a couple of things to do. One is the recipe and one is another mini kit. So first of all, jump in this ballista and fire at the targets. And I was all I had to do was hit uh, all but one target which is lucky because I'm not a terribly good shot. But as soon as I got that one there, a mini kit appeared, and there's still one left which I shot just to see what would happen, but the answer is not very much. Anyway, smash everything on the ground to access that mini kit, uh, or at least smash some stuff away, and then I'll speed it up here while I just go a little bit smash crazy. My OCD sometimes insists that I clean out rooms uh, because all the Legos like, yeah, destroy me, take my studs. Anyway, finally, this chest here on the right contains the blacksmith recipe. There you go. So that is the fishing pole. And anyway, continue up here, build this, and carry on with the level normally. And then you will get to this little area here, which requires a file. So turn into Frodo and go in, and you'll snag mini kit number six. Then from here, this was a bit annoying. Legolas kept... Um, disappearing from my selection, so I had to kind of force select him by adding him back in. Uh, but you want to shoot two targets which are up above this orc or uruk or whatever he is, and put arrows in there so that you're going to be able to jump to them in a minute. Then change into a little guy, climb up there, and then change into whatever elf you've got available. Um, I missed the jump, so I had to go through the whole rigmarole again. I'm sorry that you have to watch that. But uh, the lady elf will do. I forget her name, Galadriel, I don't know, whatever it is, something elvish. And then these leaves are conveniently in the way of the rope that you want to jump onto, but that's it, head up there, and that's mini kit number seven. Anyway, get back up there and continue along this way until you get to the tree ant, and then smash this sort of little tree ant statue there for treasure number two, which is the wooden armour. There you go. And then continue through, smash all this up, and build the uh, grips up to climb Treebeard. There you go. And then you'll be in this section here. Now, just on the left there, you can't quite make it out, because the Treebeard always gets in the way, which is super annoying. But there's a dig pile there. You might have just seen it flashing, and I'm digging now. And that will dig up a weird sort of fridge or hamper or something. 
So go ahead and smash that up, and you will get a mini kit. Yay! And a bear, of all things. And the bear comes and sort of eats some of the food. And you get a weird little cutscene. And you can ride the bear, but the bear doesn't attack anyone, which is sort of annoying. So uh, I thought, well, I'm going to ride the bear, and I'll see what happens. And maybe I'll be able to maul the orcs with the bear. No, you can't maul the orcs with the bear. It doesn't attack. It's really annoying. So anyway, I changed back to Treebeard and stomped on everything. And I sort of take a few detours here, so uh, sorry about that, where I go to pick up all the coins. But grab a boulder, smash that. And then there's a couple of mini kits, or a mini kit and a treasure to get up here. So do a circle there and get all the coins on, on, on. And you may see down there on the right, there's a little light area, and that is a plant for Sam. So go ahead and plant that and get annoyed as Treebeard gets in your way again. But that just sort of grows, and when it's finished growing, uh, the Ent um, Draft Ent draft pops out. There. So pick that up, and that's a quest item. There you go, Ent Draft. And I'll show you where to put that at the end. Then head back this way, and I was thinking that I'd chuck boulders at this, but then I thought, well, actually, Legolas has arrows. That's probably going to be a better bet. So what you want to do is shoot the branch that that owl's on. He'll go hoot hoot and fly to the next one. This one's a bit of a trickier shot, so what you want to do is jump up here onto this ledge and then go to sort of the middle. You can target it from there, but it won't actually hit. So stand about there and target the branch and you'll be able to shoot it. And the owl will fly to the uh, treasure and then target it once more, shoot the branch. The owl will fly away. The mini kit will fall to the floor. And I think that's your ninth mini kit. There, yeah. there we go. So we've got three treasures and nine mini kits and a blacksmith recipe, just one mini kit to go. And it started glitching out for me here quite badly. I turned into Gollum and picked him up and walked him across the river. And then they start the fire, obviously. They didn't start the fire. And uh, then you walk over here and there are three little targets. You'll see the coins pop out of them. One, two, three, there. And when you smash those three, you can either shoot them, hit them, or just run tree bit over them. You'll get your final mini kit. Anyway, then progress the rest of the story. For some reason, Gollum ended up back there, so I had to go and pick him up. And it was just... Ugh. Uh, put him down, crawl in the hole... Get up there, grab the rope, pull the water onto the fire, sploosh, um, and that is your lot. Just run up here to complete the level. Anyway, hope that was useful. Hang about for the um, for where to drop the quests off. The mini kit is an ent. There we are. And uh, there we go. Ent draft, wooden armor, and the uruk shield, which you didn't see at the beginning, and the mithril fishing rod, and a few silver bricks too. So first of all, we're going to go to from Minas Tirith, having just finished the game, going to Edoras, or Edoras, Edoras, I'm going to say. And so you want to fast travel there. And then the Ent Draft is just here to drop off. And to access this quest, you need to, it's this way, uh, you need to activate these flowers with Sam the first time. So there are three flowers to grow. And when you've grown those, the door will open and this dude will come out and say, I want to drink from Ents. Yum, yum. But he gives you a silver brick. So that's great. Then off to Bree. And we're going to go to the blacksmith to craft the fishing rod. There it is. No, that's a sword. No, that's the boots. The fishing rod's up there. And that's three mithril blocks. So you should be fine. After that mission, you get three for completing all those three things anyway. There we go. So there's the fishing rod. And in it goes to our treasure trove. And then to drop this off, we go to, I think, Minas Tirith. Uh, is it? No, sorry. Um, not Lothlorien. It's uh, Amor Ren. Is that what it's called? Amon Hen. There we go. Amon Hen. Travel to this location. And there is an orc who is trying to fish food for the entire army, and he's just there on the west bank of the river. So you won't need to cross, but you do kind of need to go the long way around. I don't know if the other... Um, if the map stone the other side would have been quicker, but you're going to need a rope to get up there, and then you jump down here, head down here, it lost the track for some reason, and then here is your orc friend. So have an orc hi, I guess he is, but have a chat with him, he'll go, they've got grey voices, these guys, and you will get a red brick, which costs uh, one million coins, or one million studs, um, but it's well worth it, because now if you add it with the times two, as you'll see, I've got the times two active, and I will activate the times four now. 
activate times 4. Uh, it will go to times 8. And the maximum multiplier, I think, is 3840. So once you've got like this times 8 plus the times 6, you'll have times 48 coins. And it just sort of gets ridiculous. You can make money so quickly at that point. But now like a 1,000 is worth 8,000, obviously. So it's uh, really easy to get the true adventurer if you've been having trouble with that. Or um, just collect money to buy, you know, other studs and coins and characters. Anyway, hope that was useful. Go post on the forum if you've got any questions or stuff. Bye!